too often Aboriginal mob, we, we get photos when we're at funerals. That's when all our families are all together and that's a sad time. Why can't it be when it's a happy time? Or why can't it be just because I'd look at mainstream photographers in town and there weren't that many Aboriginal people using them and I wanted to be an affordable and approachable option for Aboriginal families to get their family photos done. For me it stems back to my childhood. When I was two, my father came and asked to take me for two weeks holidays from my mum and he never took me back. I only have five photos in my possession of me as a baby. When you don't have a lot of photos of yourself growing up, you ask the question of where do you belong? Now as a mum myself of four kids, it just makes it so more important for me now to capture and take photos of my own kids. It's, a, it's an absolute honour when I can do a photo session with a family that want to get their photos done at a particular location because it's their nana's country or that's their dad's country. And they're actually welcoming me into their families to be able to, to capture these moments. There are photos that I take that they mightn't be the perfect shot, but I love them because there's something else about it that is awesome. There'll be times where I'll try and get them posing so that you can see that connection and bond between families, but sometimes if it's little kids, they're gonna be running around. Okay. I'm learning with every click of the camera. You take five or six of the same thing, but only one of them will be the one that's like, that's it. And it gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling sometimes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Taking photos, it stops, a, stops time and it captures emotions and whether it's happiness or sadness. It's about being a part of something and a part of a connection that either makes or breaks you.